today I am going to talk you through the makeup that I am currently wearing on a pretty much everyday basis. I upload second channel videos, if any of you didn't realise, there's a little plug for you. And a lot of you have been asking me in the comments what makeup I've been wearing. So, instead of just reply to thousands of comments telling me what foundation I'm wearing, what mascara I'm wearing, I just thought I would attempt, attempt being the key word here, to do a tutorial talking you through the different items that I use on my face and how I use them and how I put them on, just so that those of you who are really interested now know. I am not a makeup artist, that just has to be thrown out there. If I do something that offends you, or my brushes are too dirty, or I'm not doing something the way that you would do it, that's okay, because we all have our different techniques and we all have our different ways of doing things. This is just mine, I'm not saying that you have to completely copy me, or you have to do everything the same way I'm doing it, or even use the exact same products. If you have anything that's similar, or you find something that's a lot, lot cheaper, that does just about the same job and looks the same, then good on you and let me know what it is in the comments so I can buy it. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I put on my moisturiser and my eye cream and now I am going to do my foundation. I'm using the NARS Sheer Glow in Mont Blanc, which is very, very pale. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the back of my hand because I don't have a pump and apparently they just never have the pumps in stock every time I go and ask. I am going to be using my Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush. None of my brushes are clean, but um, it's just because I use them. I need to wash them though, so. Okay, foundation done. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of concealer in the places that I feel like I need it, which is just under my eyes. And I have a little bit of redness on my nose and anywhere else where I've had a few spots. As you can see, I don't really go sparingly on the old concealer. The concealer that I've used is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in number... I don't know. Ivory. I am going to use the Zoeva Face Shape Brush just to blend that in. I kind of just dot it. Pat it. Pat it. That's the word. I pat it in with the brush. I look really pale now. <laughs> um, I need to put some colour on my face. So I'm going to use my bronzer, which at the moment is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess um, bronzer. Actually, it's quite like a ready undertone and it's matte and I've just been really enjoying that. So I'm going to be using my MAC 109 brush to do that. I'm then going to take a tiny little bit on this brush, which is the Zoeva 106 powder brush. I'm just going to take it down my neck a little bit. And just blendy blendy. Now I have a bit more colour to my face. I am going to do some blusher. This is my favourite at the moment. I've been absolutely loving it. I'm really sorry it's limited edition. If you can find anything that's anywhere near similar, do leave it in the comments as suggestions for other people because it's just too beautiful. And also, I'm gonna run out of this at some point, so I am gonna need something to replace it with. It's the Estee Lauder Pure Color in Tease. It looks like this, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's basically a blush and highlight all in one. And I've just got my Zoeva, what one are you? 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek. And I'm just gonna swirly swirly. Swirly swirly. I think it makes me look really like healthy, like, I don't know, I just, I love it. It's basically a pink with a sheen to it. But it's beautiful. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm using the Archery by Soap and Glory pencil slash felt tip. There's a pencil at one end and a felt tip at the other end. I am absolutely frigging loving this. 
if I can't find it in my drawer, I start to have like a little mini like panic. I really like the felt tip side, funnily enough, which I never thought I would say. I thought would always be like an eyebrow pencil powder sort of person. Um, but since I've been getting my eyebrows done, I get them tinted and it just becomes a whole lot easier to fill in your brows. You find that you don't really need to do much work. I just like to neaten them up slightly. There's one done. Makes a whole lot of difference. Eyebrows done. The next thing that I've been doing um, with my eyes, just to be like super quick, super simple, if I'm running out the door, I'm going shopping, I don't really like to spend too much time on makeup at the moment because I quite like it to look minimal. Um, so I've been using these, which are the um, By Terry Ombre Black Star. They're basically eyeshadow crayons and they are amazing. I mentioned this way back in like my November favourites or something. Um, when I had all the boys in the video with me and I just love them. I have four now like someone needs to basically just Take me away from the by Terry counter um, and the one that I've been really loving is like a really soft baby pink um, And this is the frozen quartz one um, It's quite like shimmery. It's really pretty. It's just a very nice pink um, And I basically just do a wash of this over both eyes and then blend Once I've smeared that on, I kind of want to blend it. So I'm going to use the Zoeva Petite Crease because I have a petite crease. That sounds really weird. Um, and I'm just going to blend um, up here, basically. Not too much. I'm also going to use a much lighter one and this is called uh, Blonde Opal and I'm just going to pop a little bit of that in the corners of my eyes and just under here. I'm then going to take this little brush which is the Zoeva Precise Shader and I'm just going to, you know, blendy blendy. I'm then going to take a colour from my MAC eyeshadow quad and it is Mystery which is a matte dark brown and I'm just going to go in um, in my lash line at the top and also underneath my lash line down here slightly and smudge it in. I've been doing this a lot recently instead of um, eyeliner and I just feel like it's a lot more natural but it's also a lot less precise because you don't have to be as careful. So you could say I've gotten eye lazy. So now I have done my eyes and I need to now put mascara on. The mascara I have been loving recently is on the floor, hang on. So this mascara is the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes 5 Star Mascara. Curl, separation, volume, length and drama. That claims to do a lot of things and um, I love it. Look at the difference in my eyes right now. That's crazy. Mascara now done. I'm gonna use my teeny tiny little Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, which I totally forgot I had and got quite excited by when I found it. Um, which I'm just gonna do to separate my bottom lashes a little bit. not least I am going to finish this off with a lip gloss and of course it is my gorgeous friend Tanya Burr's lip gloss this is my current favorite one she has many that I love um, not being biased but I love them and it's the one called chic wide when I try and do makeup. It's ridiculous. And we're done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you very soon. Bye!
I'm then gonna sniff because I have a cold, which is the Zoeva Precise, 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 Precise shader. Are my in focus? Keep mouth closed. It's got really dark. I, I, I don't, ah, this is why I don't do makeup tutorials, guys. I suck. But I really hope that I hope. God. Oh. My hair is sticking to my lip gloss. Oh, I can't film videos anymore. <laughs> I can't film videos. All right, snuff, snuff that. Okay, you have seven seconds to pull out one of your teeth. <laughs> 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 what?